Y'all been asking for boudin. We are about to give it to you. This is the main ingredients. I'm going to show you many, many different ways to cook and prepare boudin. But this is where it starts. You got the liver. You got the pork butt. You got the, the holy trinity with the garlic, with the pork, the green onions, and the parsley. Let's get it. First thing we're going to do is slice and dice this pork shoulder. All right. Start off with that holy trinity. Listen to that sizzle. Hit it with that cubed up pork. How pretty that is. We're going to brown all this down. Don't forget the liver, dude. It ain't boo that if it ain't got that liver. Put that in there. Get that out of there. Uh, one thing I enjoy about cooking recipes like this Buddha, it takes a long time, a lot of time to get hydrated and motivated, dude. But don't get in a rush to over season your dish. You can keep seasoning and seasoning and tasting. You can never take that seasoning back. We got a little beef bone, our own beef bone stock. Came and talked. A little Louisiana pepper parade cayenne, just for a little spice. A little W sauce. Gotta use the W sauce. Man, this stuff is good. Oh, a little secret right here. A whole can of that natty. We now, I'm gonna cook this down beyond fork tender because I don't have one of them fancy dancy grinders. I'm gonna grind them with these Cajun palms, dude. So, we're gonna cook this, smother this down to where it's tender, 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 and then we're gonna add that rice to it. So, let's cook that boudin together and get hydrated and motivated. About 25 minutes in, let's check on it. Oh yeah, we got that to that rolling ball. We're gonna hit it with that old Cajun two-step. Remember, we're gonna season more later. Season as you go, we're about to start tasting it. Remember, when you add rice to any dish, you want your original dish a little bit spicy because that rice is gonna pull some of that spice out. Let's have a sip on that. Now we a few natties into this. We got that meat tender like your little boyfriend's hand. Gonna hit it with that fresh parsley and them green onions. Somebody saw all that shallots. That's green onions, dude, all day. Now we got the fire off, boom, boom. And we're gonna let that cool off. The next step is we're gonna strain that and then we're gonna add that rice. Oh yeah, dude. Now, as that's cooling down, we're gonna strain it, save the juice. That's very important. We're gonna reuse that lovely, lovely juice that we made. Look at this right here. You can eat this just like this. You can put this on a cracker, I'm telling you. Look at that. Oh yeah. We're gonna fold that juice back into that rice. You're gonna see, you're gonna see. Oh yeah. So we got that meat cooling off, and like I'm telling you, fork tender, just falling apart. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dice it as small as I can. Now if you had a grinder, this would be the time to whoop it out, but me, I'm hard head and don't wanna get one. So we're gonna slice and dice it as thin as we can. So we got that minced up like I like. We're gonna grab it, we're going back to the pot. The pot is cold, it's been off. We're adding this back, about half of it back. Now at this part right here, I'm going to add some rice to it, just a little bit, put that on the side, and then I come back and I remember that juice we strained? Put that juice back on. And then we're going to mix that around to the consistency that I like. And then we're going to keep adding rice and meat and juice until it's nice and sticky and rich. Oh, this is going to be money, dude. Now we got that boudin all mixed together. This is the time that you need to drink and think, dude. We're going boudin balls, or we're going to stuff this in a casing. We're going to smoke the boudin. We're going to stuff chicken with the boudin. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put that like that. Thank you, cracker assistant. I put that boudin, look at that, on a cracker, dude. Mmm. Now that's money. Oh, that's it. Boom.